today yeah. on Recap Report. We're <laughs> talking drag queens. We're talking children. We're talking Jussie Smollett and pop locking for Jesus. Get ready, motherfuckers. It's time for the Recap Report. <laughs> So anyway, let's start it off. Drag Queen Story Hour. Let's hear it, man. What's 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 the news on that? Okay, so it happened, um, and it went off without a hitch as far as the event itself is concerned. But there were protesters outside on both sides of the issue, um, apparently becoming restless, according to the Courier and Press. Um, according to the library, it went off very well. Their statement is all all uh, basically butterflies and rainbows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Florentine Dawn was the queen at this event. Uh, she read several books. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, they really, the library has done a really good job, as far as I'm concerned, um, in promoting this event and just just not getting caught in the weeds with the the protesters um they've done a really good job of that and i've uh i've seen them just kind of take everything on the chin take all of these crazy claims and all of these 30 40 people showing up to meetings talking shit about them they've taken it all on the chin really well and just um kept the mission in mind it feels like i'm gonna do my best not to make a take it on the chin joke there (laughs) i mean we are talking about drag queens here i mean not not all drag queens are necessarily gay like our good friend drew beasley uh he's slated to eventually do some of that he he Mm. dressed up in his uh drag queen garb he's not a gay person but uh it is kind of funny (laughs) taking it on the chin is is kind of a funny way to go about that yeah didn't uh i intended the butterflies and rainbows but i did not intend uh, taking it on the chin that one um, kind of flew over my head <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so why why do people have a problem with this do they think that drag queens reading to children are going to make them start thinking about you know being gay or dressing like a girl if they're a boy or uh, opposite if you're a girl or what it just seems to be the general anti-homosexual crowd yeah. that that's coming out and um just really raising their torches up about it It's really just the, they think that, I guess they think it'll make kids gay. I I guess I've seen some comments to that effect. They just hate gay people. I mean, I think it Mm -hmm. comes down to that. I think that's really what it seems to come down to. And many of them claim that that's not the case, but it really feels like that. (laughs) It's hard for it not to feel like it's just an anti-gay thing. Yeah, I mean... (laughs) I'm looking at the statement that the EVPL made on it, and it seems like it was, you know, a very successful event. There was 275 children and their guardians yeah. there, and then like 150 more that got turned away, which is like a really good turnout for this whole thing. Very I good. didn't know that many people in Evansville could read in the first place <laughs> or understood nice. stories for that matter, but it's just, I don't know. It's it's an interesting thing because it makes me wonder like what what are their what's their motivation for doing the event in the first place like it seems like maybe they are they're almost trying to stir shit up just to like but it's a good it, it could be a good thing you're bringing uh awareness to like reading right i guess there there could be some people who kind of got turned around on the issue who maybe started out when this was first announced in december as anti drag queen story hour and then by this time now that they've actually read a whole bunch about it. I mean, this is a very, <laughs> this is obviously not your average uh, middle American, most likely, but right. uh, to change like that in that amount of time. But, you know, it can happen. Um, this is, this, <laughs> to me, like these two paragraphs here were what stuck out to me the most. It's like, it says, they say the event was intended as a way for local families to engage their children's imaginations, encourage self-expression, and to explore difference. Very right. wholesome. Awesome. Great. Yeah. I, I like that. That's what we but want. then, after they said that it was so successful, right after that, is they're saying at this time there are no additional drag queen story hour events planned. However, they'll be assessing feedback to determine whether or not to have similar events in the future. It just it seems to me like if it was so successful, it would be obvious. Like you had to turn people almost twice as many people showed up as your capacity. Like why would you be considering not doing another one? Well, maybe this is where they kind of stopped taking it on the chin uh so well <laughs> and they uh maybe all of this attention actually you know 
turned out to be a bad thing to them. Yeah. I would imagine. I, I could imagine that if I were uh, higher up at the library, I might not want so much negative attention anymore. Now, yeah. like, we did it. We stuck our necks out. We did it. Now, let's... Maybe it's kind of a let's reassess our game plan before we try to do this again kind of a thing. Maybe it's not like they're definitely not going to do it again, but I, I hear there are two more planned. That's what I heard. Oh, okay. I read that on Facebook comments, so you know, take it <laughs> take it for what it's worth, but I, yeah, I hear the, there are two more planned. That's the down low. Well, I mean, that's good. As long as kids are learning, I don't really care. If you don't want your kids to be read to by a drag queen don't bring your fucking kids that's all it really is to how easy it is really it's really that it's how easy. simple it is yeah yeah so moving on to our next thing i guess we can just uh dart right on over to the jesse smollett situation yep. national news J- is is it smollett or smollett i don't know is honestly it like a joe dirt I, situation I, yeah, right. it's like, don't try to church it up boy <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's not it joe dirt like <laughs> i think i believe it's a jewish name i heard is that it? on a podcast yes but he's not it doesn't look I guess you can't judge someone's <laughs> Jewishness by their looks no, you so can't. much anymore. No. Um but I mean, and, and also it could be descendant Jewish. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so uh it could be his like descendants or something. You know what I mean? Or his ancestors, I mean. Smollett. Uh, yeah. Smollett. I hear Smollett. That's what I've been hearing the most. I like Smollett. Smollett. Reminds, that's that's pretty dope, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a long lost cousin of Ricky Bobby. If he was one of the people protesting Drag Queen Story Hour, his name would definitely be Smollett. Oh, That's for, for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's your favorite kind of hairstyle? <laughs> Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this guy, he's on Empire. Everyone's kind of heard the story. I mean, we're just yeah. kind of rehashing what everybody else has already been talking about, but we're just making fun of it. Yeah. So he's he's an actor on the show Empire. I've never watched it. I've heard nothing but Me good neither. things about it personally, yeah. but uh, he's a black and openly gay man uh, who claimed to be attacked by Trump supporters and had a noose wrapped around his neck, bleach thrown on him, and he got the shit beat out of him, supposedly, uh, in Chicago. And it all happened on his way back from Subway. At, at two, two in the morning. morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I feel like I feel like I actually knew what I was talking about. For a <laughs> you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't read all those details are correct. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't read anything about it, but I've heard so many people talk about it that I know the whole story. <laughs> So, it's like a successful game of telephone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the most successful game of all time. I and mean, that's just kind of how podcasts are. Like, they talk about the news and they all are saying the same thing. Like, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's either fuck this guy or we'll wait and see. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like the wait and see part's over. Yeah, it is. Way past it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know the whole story on the Nigerian brothers. I don't know if you want to fill us in uh, on that whole thing. I've only uh, I had read about that. Um, they there was supposedly a video of the three of them in an elevator um, right before the attack, but I think that was unsubstantiated. They do have phone records from the brothers to Jesse Smollett's phone, like an hour before the event and an hour after the event. Um, I know the cops questioned them for some time. Um, I mean, really, that's that's all I know about that. I, I think the the idea is that the brothers helped. I think yeah. helped him fake it, but it's I don't know. It's weird because he only had some scratches on his face. He didn't. He wasn't even that banged up, really. Right. It's the the whole thing's very strange and it's very unfortunate because you know we don't we obviously don't want uh, future attack victims to be questioned. Right. Like, oh, is this exactly one of those things? And and a lot of the stuff that he said happened. It's very very strange. And then. He thought he was doing it in a place where there would be surveillance, but the camera was pointed the wrong way. Right. And then I guess they had a, a letter sent in to uh, the place where they filmed the show, yep. and it was like cut out of magazine articles. And I guess they found the scraps. Oh of the magazine. my goodness! Did they? I didn't hear I'm that pretty part. Sure. Oh man! I, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm awesome. pretty sure they found that in the uh, Nigerian brothers' uh, apartment. Wow. So they were the ones that did all that. I don't... Okay. So that's how they helped. They yeah. didn't help by beating him up. They helped by... Okay. Got it. Yeah. Ola and Abel Osundario, the two brothers, nice. previously questioned by police, speak out publicly for the first time and say, we are not racist, we are not homophobic, and we are not anti-Trump. We were born and raised in Chicago and are American citizens. So they're talking to prosecutors, it looks hmm. like. And I guess, I mean, it's... It's a felony, apparently. Uh, files a felony disorderly conduct charge against Smollett for allegedly yeah. following a, fal- a false report. Yep. Very strange, very strange. Yeah. Very strange. Chicago's a little selective with their 
uh, filing false reports, though. So, yeah, yeah we'll just see how it shakes out. Yeah, you out. seem like you, knew something. You, sound, <laughs> yeah. you sound like you know some shit I don't know about the no, Chicago PD. Just about, no, just about the, the Black Panthers back in the day. Um, okay. Fred Hampton, they basic, basically, I, I think it's pretty well a, a common knowledge that they murdered him in cold oh. blood. They Yeah, they staged like a raid on the Black Panthers' apartment and they just killed Fred Hampton. He he was under the influence of barbiturates to help him sleep, is how I know the story. And he was asleep next to his girlfriend. And then uh, the cops came in. They killed the guard at the door without even, like, giving him a chance. And then they just killed everyone. Not everyone, but killed most of the people in the apartment. That's insane. And, and they killed, for sure, they killed Fred Hampton, who was the, like, charismatic leader of the Black Panthers at the time. And he was actually like the more one of the more like peaceful leaders of the Black Panthers. So it was actually really so. sad. I did actually. And yeah, I uh, listened to that one. I had heard the story before that, but you know, it was a really nice refresher of like, oh man, the our FBI and our like police departments in the United <laughs> States are have really gone through some phases of corruption, huh? Yeah. And it's just funny that you know, I'm sure those uh police officers that raided that apartment that night did not put on their reports we murdered fred hampton in cold <laughs> blood in their report so yeah no they just talked about that over beers later yeah pretty after, well after yeah. not getting in trouble for it at all yes it's very sad i mean it's pretty much the most popular thing in the news these days is police brutality so i mean it it makes sense i listened to that episode of time suck too i just i didn't pay as much attention cuz I don't know. I'm more interested in true crime, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I pay so much attention to the like serial killer episode. Oh, you mean, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rather than the historical. Yeah. yeah. I don't really like them as much either, but the, uh, but the Black Panthers one was extra, extra juicy with details of kind of counterculture and, right. um, you know, anti-establishment stuff. So I dig it. I feel you. I feel you. So we're going to transition oh, in yeah. the weirdest way possible. <laughs> Into probably my favorite thing that I've seen on the internet in a very long oh, it's time. So good. We're gonna drop this over, and uh, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna play the video, and I have no idea if they're gonna. Be of the devil, devil. put on salvation as your helmet, and Basically. take the sword oh, of the spirit, which is the word of God, Jesus Christ. So put on the arm of God, Jesus Christ. We love you, God. So we do it for God. Jesus Christ! So there's this next uh, guy. Belt of truth! Jesus Christ! And, uh, so we do it for, we love you, God! Yeah. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! We love you, God! We love you, God! Dude, that's exactly how it sounds. It's Shoot. so good. I've, I've practiced that impression because I've watched Stop it like 30 enemy. times. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Look, we love you, God! Look, we do it for him! Yeah. Shoot him! Jesus He's Christ! Amazing. And did you know that he got one of those mega churches? Jesus Christ! Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did see that video where he's up on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did right see here. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. Oh my goodness. Oh, ex gang Come member on. Mike Come on, Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. Serving up Mike to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Serving up those bland ass crackers. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the sword of God. So put on. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, my I can't believe that. That's Jesus Christ. They probably haven't even seen trained today. Exactly the same choreography. Jesus Christ! I'm right Jesus Christ! 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 And that's not like super I'm all right, right here. So, yeah, yeah. Hey! That mm. might be. That might be. Oh, shit, I'm basic! Oh, and then this hat. This hat. <laughs> Look! There goes the enemy! <laughs> Is that what Look. he says? There goes the enemy! Like that. So we hold up the sword! <laughs> oh, shoot! Shoot the sword! Yeah, there it is. Shoot the sword! I love y'all! Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Here's oh, the deal. The guy. reason he we'll shouts Jesus Christ is yeah. almost as he is tormenting the devil for the years that he's 
outside. Because when you say the name of Jesus. People being dicks. You know, we did bring it back to Jesus. We brought it back to Jesus. <laughs> somehow, somehow, there's a common thread. There's always uh, a little bit of room for Jesus. All the people that were coming out of the woodwork saying Jesse Smollett for sure faked it before we had any information whatsoever. Those people probably probably believe in Jesus too. I don't know, man. It seemed pretty <laughs> suspect. I was very skeptical from the moment I heard it. I was like, mm, Chicago. <laughs> Maybe if he said Alabama. Yeah. Chicago was the was definitely one of the weirder details. And the two AM subway trip. Which I mean I guess to each their own as far as your you know life choices I or whatever. Gay but people ate subway. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. really didn't think that I mean I don't I didn't think they didn't. I don't know. It just seems like a something that I don't know. I may be digging myself into a, a hole on this one, but it just Subway doesn't I mean, especially after the Jared Fogel shit, I mean, jeez. Uh yeah. Yikes. I would distance myself from Subway. It's, this is the second worst thing that's happened to Subway <laughs> since Jared Fogle. <laughs> I mean, uh, if, even if all, the, if all this shit ended up being true and Jesse Smollett really got attacked coming back from Subway, wouldn't that be more bad publicity for Subway? It would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't eat there anymore. Did he actually go to Subway? That's a he, question. He, dude, he showed up with the sandwich still in his hands. What? He supposedly got the shit beat out of him. Got a noose wrapped around his neck and bleach thrown in his face, but they did not knock that foot-long Italian out of his hand. Can you imagine if you got the crap beat out of you, and then you woke up, or you get up, come to, and you're like, but I still got my Subway sandwich, though. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of, like, you know, when uh, people are, are drunk and they're walking around, and uh, they don't they fall down, but they don't spill any of their beer. Yeah. It's like, I, yeah, right. Yeah. If I got a foot long in my hands, I'll, I'll get the shit beat out of me all day, but I ain't dropping that Italian boy. <laughs> as expensive as they are, dude. They're like, that's how could you... That's not a financial decision I'm about to make. I'm going to eat the sandwich. Hell if, no. That's no matter what happens shit. to me. I bet you that dude grew up and he was a fat kid. Oh, because like probably yeah yeah like if I was getting, if I was eating soup or something and getting beat up I would be like no my soup like <laughs> we set it down first y'all like shit and you're trying to waste no damn food no my soup <laughs> bro that's I've been looking forward to this chicken noodle for like two hours so if we learned anything today folks don't drop your subway sandwich when you're not getting beat up by fake racist people <laughs> yeah and uh, pop lock for Jesus yes thanks for fucking watching boys and girls. And uh, drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you next time.